Our closing prayer will be uh, given this uh, morning by Michael Christensen, member of our annual conference, who is also the national director of Communities of Shalom, currently based at Drew University. I call upon Michael at this time, and before he gives the prayer, I'm inviting him to give us a one-minute uh, a presentation about Communities of Shalom. It's something we should be very proud of and uh, involved in. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Shalom means more, of course, than hello or the absence of conflict. But Shalom, the big Hebrew word, is peace, health, wholeness, harmony, well-being, not just for yourself or your family, but for the whole community and the cosmos. Communities of Shalom is an initiative of the General Conference from 1992, now based at Drew University, <clears throat> and it's a network of community development sites, community development churches, Shalom churches, in partnership with its community partners to revitalize neighborhoods and to transform communities. It's taken root in Cal Nevada Conference. I'm working with a number of you on rethinking church shalom style, especially in four square blocks that can be demonstration acts of God's shalom. We're celebrating the 20th anniversary year of shalom in Los Angeles, October 3 through 6, where the shalom initiative began in the aftermath of the civil unrest and social uprising in Los Angeles <clears throat> in the aftermath of the Rodney King verdict when the four policemen were found not guilty of beating Rodney King who died this week. Over 150 Shalom Zones, their representatives are going to be gathering in Los Angeles downtown and I came all the way from Drew University to invite you to join us in Los Angeles in October. <clears throat> 